Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be looking at my Game Boy Advance collection. The Game Boy Advance was released June 11th, 2001, and I have to say I was one of the first day adopters. I absolutely loved the system and I loved how it was backwards compatible with all of the Game Boy Color games and all of the original Game Boy games as well. The form factor was nice and it fit my hand very well. And I have to say, it wasn't without its faults. There were some of the earlier games that were palettes were a little too dark for an unlit screen, but I still love the system to this day. And with all of that said, let's get on with what is in my current Game Boy Advance collection. Okay, so here is my Game Boy Advance collection. Start off with the Game Boy Advance wireless adapters. This is a custom case that I made from one of Shadow Fox's cases from customcases.com. And it just has these two little guys right here. They just plug into the Game Boy Advance and they, are, they allow wireless communication. It's basically a wireless link cable. I think it only goes between two. Then I have my other Frankenstein case, uh, which this is a multi-CD case, but it has uh, my Action Replay and my Game Shark for both, for my Game Boy Advance. And there's both of them in there and they're in custom foam. Although they are a little wedged in there, but they come out just fine. And there's a little blurb on the back about both of the devices and the spine. I uh, made those covers custom just because I could. And here's the Game Boy Advance link cable and the Game Boy Advance SP earphone adapter. And these are not secure, unfortunately, because they're cables. There's a little blurb on the back for both of these. Probably cannot read that, but um, you know, I was just goofing around on the cover project and all of their stuff. And there's a link cable with the ability to expand out to multiple people, so you could have four player games easily. And here is the official Nintendo earphone adapter. Next up, we have the e-reader, and I picked this up just because I could. I found it for fairly cheap. Um, I did not; it did not come with anything, but I have it nice and secure in the case. It plugs into the Game Boy Advance, and it allows you to play games. This is another one of my huge Frankenstein cases. Now we have an Easy Flash Four. I uh, picked this up off of Amazon back when you could actually pick them up cheap because sometimes you just need to be able to get into uh, a game that was not translated or bring, brought over to the US or anything like that. That's mainly why I have these. We have Advanced Guardian Heroes. It's the continuation of the Guardian Heroes series. Again, uh, these cases are also all done by, uh, actually this is an official Nintendo case, but I have protectors on that. Here's the three, or the, this is actually a DS case from Nintendo that you could, you used to be able to order extras. Uh, you can't do that anymore, unfortunately, but with the cover project and stuff like that, I figured out how to make my own Game Boy Advance permanent style case, had to cut up here so I could fit the manual, but that's not a big deal with flesh cutters. And there's the game. This is actually a lot of fun. I enjoy the game quite a bit. This is one of the first Game Boy Advance games I got. I got this on launch day for the Game Boy Advance. It's Advance Wars. Uh, it's a four player game. Again, front and back of uh, custom game cases. And here is the 
manual again. This is yet another DS case that's been adapted. Advance Wars 2. And it's another DS case, you can tell. And the manual as well. I tried to keep all of my manuals for the games, but I'm just not a cardboard box collector. Uh, Bokutai, if I said that name right. Here's the back. This is a custom game case from Shadow Fox. And like, and it actually fits the Bokutai game, which is difficult because it has an odd shape. Next up, Breath of Fire. Ooh, hard to open, that one. Here's the back. And the game. And this is another DS case that's been adapted. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. This is another one of the launch games I got right as it came out. This game was really difficult because you could not see the dark purple flames. Again, this is another DS case that's been adapted. There's a, the manual in a protective bag, and here's the back. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, another really great game. Uh, very happy to have it. This one you play, the story is a little bit different from your classic Castlevania. Oh yes, I have a huge map for this game, and then it's another custom game case, obviously, with the instruction manual and stuff. And I was able to fit the map in there too, which was kind of impressive that I had that much room. Castlevania Harmony of Dis, oops, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, I bet you guys are noticing a theme here. I love my 2D Castlevania. And here's a little bit more on the back custom game case then F0 maximum velocity there's the back and here is the inside of the case with the manual in the protective plastic as well here's one of my absolute favorites Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I love the Final Fantasy Tactics series, so I had to have this one, obviously. And uh, I actually panicked and bought this game twice because I thought I lost my copy. But I found it again, and it's got the booklet, it's got the insert in the back as well and the game, and this is a, another custom game case. Okay, and the last one in this stack, before I have to get another one, is Fire Emblem. Uh, I love my tactical RPGs, and Fire Emblem is supposed to be one of the better ones. I need to get around to playing this one, unfortunately. I have not played it yet, but there's the game and the manual. Next, we have Golden Sun. Uh, I need to go back and replay this game, to be honest, because I know I got through the first one, and I just, and that's this one, but I just, I need to go back and replay it again before I move on, um, because, oh, ha, guess what? I have map, manual, uh, let's see, there we go, map, manual, game, and it's in a custom game case. Although it is difficult to keep all of this stuff in a custom game case because the map does not want to fit into the normal footprint. Next we have Golden Sun The Lost Age, and again map, manual, game, and a custom game case. 
Again, the map does not really like staying in the case too much, but I, I make it work. And there's the back, and again, this is uh, all from the cover project, uh, because I just, I hated the idea of trying to, to put any of these back in their cardboard boxes, so I, I just didn't. Next up, Guilty Gear X Advanced Edition. Um, this isn't bad. This is not the worst Guilty Gear out there. The worst one is Guilty Gear DS, and that's because it has a dedicated button to turning around, which was a mechanic that everybody hated. Uh, I don't think a fighting game has ever used that ever since. There's the manual, and it's in a custom game case, obviously. And there's the game. I'm gonna show the back again. And again, this is, you know, from the cover project, but a very fun game. I'm... All right, next we have Radium 3D. Uh, I like my shmups. This is a 3D style shmup. There's the book. This is in a custom game cases. It also has a cover that was printed. Um, printing Game Boy Advance, or uh, this type of case, printing a cover for it is actually more difficult because I think you have to use something that's a little bit larger than uh, legal size paper, otherwise you start chopping it off really short. Next we have the Invincible Iron Man. I got this because I like comic books, uh, but it's one of those things where this is definitely kind of a Mega Man clone. There's the back. Get that better. And then open it up. Custom game case, of course. And like all of my other Game Boy Advance games, I have it in a protective bag and everything nice and sealed up. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Uh, I bought this because I was scared that I was not going to be able to find it when I eventually wanted to play it, and eventually when I wanted to play it, I played it on the PlayStation 4. Now, I know that the PlayStation 4 version of this game is very, very different from this, apparently, because, well, it, it's kind of got to be, and that this is more of a turn-based style game. So I'm going to go back and actually visit this, and... Uh, when I'm done visiting this, I'm going to determine whether or not it stays in my collection. But again, custom game case, booklet protected, and the game cartridge. Next, oh boy, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Guys, you know me, I am a Kirby fan. Uh, I even am so much of a Kirby fan that my granddaughter's first video game that she played was a Kirby game. Her hands were too small to hold the NES controller, and so I sat her down with the NES Advantage, and she played that way. There's the booklet, the game, custom game case. Here's the back. And on to the next game. This game, Ze The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, including the Four Swords. I got this because, uh, it was just a lot of fun um, uh, at a Christmas party and some friends came along and they were moving away, uh, far away, but they knew all four of us loved to play Game Boy Advance games together. And so they bought uh, me, uh, Sinchatus, and two more of my friends that we were all friends together we, they all bought us this game, or bought, bought this game for all, all four of us, so that we could play four player, and just to have a ton of fun. And, and this game is hilarious as a four player game. Oh, my, the cartridge has come out. This is a DS, uh, this is a DS box don't know why I blanked on that. There's lots of editing to do. Uh, this is the 
manual and the cartridge. Here's the back. Next, Lufia, The Ruins of Lore. It's an Atlas game, so Afro Samurai, here's, here's your, at, your Atlas shout out. It's Atlas, buy it. They're in such low print run. If you don't like it, wait two or three years and then resell it for higher than what you bought it. But I love Lufia. It is my favorite RPG series on the Super Nintendo. So I had to pick this up as soon as I saw it. And yes, I bought it brand new. There's the game, custom game case, and, and the booklet, of course, in a bag. Those are acid-free bags as well. So they're, they're basically a rip off of the comic book industry. Uh, Lunar Legend. Again, I'm kind of a, a Lunar fan, not nearly as much as my friend Sinchatus, but I got this game in a custom game case with the manual and all of the fixings. Next is another Frankenstein case. And I realize I did not do a great job with not stretching this, but it's a huge CD style case. And on the inside is the actual box, but I wanted to keep it in this thing because it looks great next, sitting next to the, the rest of the cases and stuff. And this box is cardboard and kind of flimsy. And you have the play mat and the rules and the cards, which are, some of them are e-reader cards. And this is a wonderful game. You have to modify the deck depending on how many players you have. The youngest player gets to go first, so kids have an advantage. And it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it is the, possibly the most underrated Mario Party game out there. And I do need to find a bag to put some of this stuff in, but the big plastic case is mainly to protect this and keep it from getting too damaged. It just fits in there fairly nice. I've got some craft foam super glued in around the sides and it closes up just like that. Next, Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, I am a Battle Network fan. I liked the cards. I liked the strategy. Uh, it just felt, it felt right to me. Um, it was a good evolution of the series and I definitely want to go back and play this one again because I've got another one to follow it up with Mega Man Battle Network 2. And there's the back where you can have the different kinds of Mega Man and it's not just power based either. And there's the game and then the booklet also in an acid free bag. Then we have Mega Man Zero. This game was um, really tough on me, so I'm probably not going to play it on the Game Boy Advance, but I am going to play it on the Zero collection that's on the PlayStation 4. Uh, that might be heresy to some. You know, don't play it unless you're playing it the original way, but for some reason my hands could not grasp around a handheld system and play that game properly. Next we have Phalanx and this is a, a port of a Super Nintendo game, same name, it's just this has a decent cover on it as opposed to the guy with the banjo. It's a shooter, I love this shooter, it's very underrated and I think people need to take more time to check it out. All right, next we have Shining Force Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. Here's the back. Open it up. Surprise, surprise, a custom game cases case. 
acid-free bag for the instructions and the game itself. Again, I have printed all of these out from thecoverproject.net and uh, I had to print these on 14 inch wide paper so that they would print properly. Look, another Atlas game, Shining Soul, and uh, shout out to Lightsaber Samurai for games like this and letting people know that Atlas is someone to look out for. Another custom game case, another acid bag, acid free bag, and then uh, the game, and here's the beautiful back, there's the edge. You know, this is These are just great covers. I love the artwork that they do. Shining Souls 2, Atlas again. Another acid-free bag, the game. Here's the bag. Spider-Man, gotta love my superhero movies. Acid-free bag, the game. Here's the back. Wonderful custom game cases. Another Atlas game, Super Dodgeball Advance. This game is a remake of the NES game, I believe. Another acid-free bag with the instruction manual. There's the game in a custom game case. And here's the back. This is a two-player game. It's actually really a lot of fun. Another superhero game, X-Men Reign of the Apocalypse. I'm a nerd. I love my superhero stuff. Another acid-free bag. There's the game. And we have the back right here. This is actually a really, really fun beat-em-up. Next, we have Wario Land 4. Unfortunately, I do not have the booklet. And I'm probably going to start looking for it. But there's the game. It's a custom game case. And here's the back. And finally, we have Zone of the Enders, The Fist of Mars. As I watched my buddy Sinchatis play this on the Game Boy Player, and it got me interested in it, and I picked it up. There's the instructions in an acid-free bag, the game, and here is the back. And the spine's not too fancy, but it gets the point across. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.